Slick is a functional relational mapping library for Scala that provides a very powerful way to work with relational databases. Let me show you how to get started. The Hello Slick template in TypeSafe Activator provides a working application that will walk you through the basics of using Slick. You can find the Hello Slick template in the TypeSafe Activator template directory. The easiest way if you don't already have Activator is just to download the template bundle. I've already done that, it's just a zip file. When you extract that zip file to your system, you'll get a hello slick directory, and then you can just run the activator script either from the command line or from your file manager. I'm going to just double click on activator.bat. That'll run the activator UI for this application. Now we're in the activator UI, and I can read the tutorial that will walk me through the code in this project. You can walk through that on your own. What I'm going to do is go open up first the table mapping. So if we go and look here at the tables.scala file, this is in the source main Scala directory, and then tables.scala, we'll see this is where we map our relational database tables for Slick. So in this case, I'm setting up a new table mapping for the suppliers table, and then I'm setting up the columns for that table as well. This provides me a type safe way to work with my database tables. Also, I've defined a projection for star, which means that my base query, whenever I use just this basic query that I'll be able to access the database with, it will select all of the columns, because those are the ones that I've specified here for the projection. And then I have another table for coffees. You'll see that this one is pretty similar, except that now I have a foreign key relationship with the suppliers table. So now that I've set up my table mappings, let's go take a look at the hello-slick.scala file. This is the main application, and what we'll see in here is that I'm setting up a database connection. In this case, I'm just connecting to the H2 in-memory database. And then I'm creating the schema so that I can access the DDL from these mappings, and then just create it. And then I'm doing some inserts. Inserts are easy. All I have to do is do a plus equals with the values, and that will do an insert. Or if I want to do a multiple inserts, I can do the plus plus equals. And then queries are done in a functional way that's very similar to the Scala collections functions. If I want to iterate through all of my rows on a query, I can just do a for each. That will take each row, and in this case, print out the rows in the database. Uh, that one prints out the, uh, the number of rows that were inserted. Down here, this for each is the one that actually will take the coffees query, which is defined up here. There's my coffees table query. And it goes through each row and outputs those. In Activator, we can go into the Run tab, and we can see the actual output of this running application. So we'll see the first query here just basically does a select star, which is based on that table mapping that I showed you. And then it goes through each of the rows and outputs all of the coffees. So you can go through and explore the different ways that we can do queries. There's all sorts of different functional ways to do queries and do filtering, which are where statements in SQL, do uh, functional updates, deletes, so there's some good examples in here that will help you get started, even things like joins and manual SQL string interpolation. You can also see the tests. We do some quick tests here. Those are in the source and then test Scala and then table suite.scala. We're using Scala test here to run a few tests. And then if you want to, you can open up this project in IntelliJ or Eclipse from Activator. Of course, you can see the compile output here in Activator, and this is really where you get to see the benefits of Slick, is that all these queries are type safe. So if I come back here into the code, and let's say we try to access a column that doesn't exist. So let's go down here and find one of our queries where we're selecting a specific column. Uh, this will be the selecting specific column example. And if I try to access .foo and save this, then Activator will automatically recompile this, and then we'll actually see the compile error saying, hey, I couldn't find a column uh, on that table mapping named foo. So we see the compile error there, and then can, of course, correct that to the correct value. So this Slick provides this type safe way to interact with our relational database and generate queries. So go ahead and uh, go check out the Hello Slick template in Activator, and give it a try and let us know what you think. Thanks.